from the headquarters of The Economist in central London, a distinctive look at a fast-developing world. Expert opinion and expert analysis in politics, business, science and the arts, all backed by The Economist's top team of specialists here on eVision. Science has found a possible link between some forms of male infertility and cancer. It raises the question, is this infertility nature's way of stopping the propagation of the disease? And the ethical dilemma, should we tamper with nature using assisted reproduction when it could pass on a potentially fatal disease? Five eggs in total. To fertilize one egg like this one, 20 million or more sperm are needed for a reasonable chance of success. Any less, then the odds are greatly reduced. A man with a low sperm count may be deemed infertile. But in 1991, scientists in Brussels accidentally fertilized a human egg with a single sperm by direct injection under the microscope. And what's known as ICSI was born. Short for intracytoplasmic sperm injection, the ICSI procedure has now become the most powerful tool for the treatment of infertility. It's meant that men who hitherto would have been told there was absolutely no chance they could have their own genetic child now have a real chance of achieving that goal. That area is not it's very different from here. They had the how, but it was the why that interested Dr. Turek and his colleagues. In particular, what caused the infertility in men whose sperm development had arrested? Their interest was sparked by an unexpected side effect in an earlier study of mice. In 1995, researchers wanted to induce cancer in mice. They bred them with faulty DNA repair genes. As cells reproduce, the replication is never perfect. DNA repair genes step in to fix the differences or mutations. But if these genes are faulty, the defective DNA remains. As expected, the mice with the DNA repair problem developed tumours. Unexpectedly, they also became infertile. I saw pictures of the look of the testicles, because they actually looked inside uh, at the architecture with a microscope of the testes from these mice. And when I looked at these, I said, I have men whose testicles are infertile who look just like this. So could the faulty DNA repair genes apparently causing infertility in the mice also be the cause of infertility in some men? The answer was yes, a controversial result. Could there be a connection between infertility and cancer as well? Dr. Carl Gerassi, professor of chemistry at Stanford University, better known as the father of the contraceptive pill, is also a specialist on the ICSI procedure. One does know already, certain people with certain infertility pass on cystic fibrosis, not in everyone, but in some. Well, the same thing could apply to cancer, the same thing could apply to many other conditions. It is quite conceivable that evolution has made these people infertile in order to prevent that additional thing. It's a gamble, a very personal gamble that some parents must take. But as the eldest ICSI baby is less than 10 years old, we won't understand the full implications until he and the 10,000 or so ICSI offspring produced so far have children themselves. The information that we give the couples is really concerning um, the small number of congenital abnormalities, the possible increase in the, the incidence of, of congenital malformations. And in the vast majority of cases, the couples will accept that information and they will still proceed with, with the technique. In some countries, embryonic screening is possible, but expensive. In others, such as Germany, it's banned. It enables a fetus to be aborted if screening shows it has genetic defects, if you can then prevent certain genetic diseases, does this mean that only the wealthy will have no offsprings with these particular genetic, uh, genetically damaged individuals? For infertile couples, assisted reproduction is a miracle and their only hope. But it may be years before scientific research will show if ICSI is truly a gift of life or a death sentence for their child.